Well, the Division of Criminal Investigation recently issued a report involving the Mitchell American Legion baseball team, alleging that a sexual assault occurred in Pennington County. Yesterday, the Pennington County State's Attorney Office issued a statement saying they are reviewing that file. There are rumors that the assault may have started as a hazing incident. Our Madison Newman has more. Hazing is classified as to harass by abusive and humiliating tricks or a way of initiation, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Recently, serious allegations were brought to light about possible hazing within the Mitchell Legion baseball team. Now, sexual assault and harassment claims that are said to have stemmed from a team hazing activities are being investigated. South Dakota Attorney General Marty Jackley talked about the case last week. Well, certainly, especially with any program where you've got young, young adults or juveniles involved, um, it's important that things are done to, to keep a safe environment. And again, these are allegations at this point. And so all that I can say is whenever we receive allegations, and they are serious in nature, we look at them, we investigate. Uh, this case will be uh, thoroughly investigated, and it will be reviewed by two prosecution authorities. Um, and so it will take time, and we'll get to the bottom of what happened. Jackley says allegations like these come down to the coaches and athletes involved, stating that he doesn't believe similar issues have occurred in the state. Post-22 head coach Kelvin Torvey talked about hazing last week and says they try to avoid these incidents. Humility, selflessness, and gratitude are the pillars within which we, we try to achieve that goal. And so we're not perfect, but um, you know, with our track record of success on the field and we've got leaders of, of our culture as alumni, um, it, it's, it's a wonderful place to coach, but we are constantly vigilant to make sure our players behave, make sure they honor others, make sure they understand what it means to be a post-22 player. Post-22 players and parents are required to sign player police manuals before each season, outlining what is and is not allowed. And Torvey says that it grieves him to even hear allegations like this happening within the sport. No formal charges have been filed, and the Pennington County State's Attorney's Office says there is no definite timeline. But the Mitchell baseball team has decided to terminate the remainder of their season. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Madison Newman.